okay dear students so there is a question i got on discord and this is that question let us see how are we going to do this now energy is provided to a liquid at its boiling point at a rate of p joules per second the rate at which the mass is boiling away is mu kgs per second the specific heat of latent heat of vaporization of the liquid is so first of all uh, whenever we are going to heat a substance so what is going to happen like there are two cases now so case number one when if you heat the temperature of the substance rises now that kind of a heating is known as sensible heating sensible heating so that whenever you heat the temperature of the body rise and the formula for this is delta q is equal to mc delta t Delta Q is the heat that is given to the to the substance. M is the mass of the substance. C is the specific heat. And Delta T is the change in temperature that was brought up. Now, there is another kind of a heating which is known as latent heat. Now, latent heating is that heating in which heat is definitely absorbed by the substance, but the temperature does not change. So what happens? Phase change takes place. So here the phase change is taking place or the state is changing. Means like from liquid to gas or from solid to liquid. So this is called latent heat and the formula used here is Q is equal to M into L where Q is the heat that is given, M is the mass of the substance, L is the latent heat. Now this is of two types. One is latent heat of vaporization. And the other one is the latent heat of fusion. So in fusion, a solid is converting into liquid or liquid is converting into solid. And in vaporization, the liquid is converting into vapor or the vapor is converting into liquid. Now in this case, the boiling process is taking place. So we are talking about the vaporization, but the formula used will be Q is equal to M into L. So Q is equal to M into L. What does it mean? It means energy like the heat energy that was supposed to be given is the product of mass multiplied by the latent heat now we are actually talking about the rate the power so the energy is divided by time and the mass is also divided by time so what we can do is divided by time so it will be energy divided by time and this will be mass divided by time obviously latent heat cannot be divided by time that doesn't make any sense mass divided by time will say the rate of evaporation of mass, the rate of vaporization of mass, sorry. And energy per time is the power that is being spent there. So that power is given as P. Okay, how do we write this thing? See, whenever this rate thing comes here, so it is written as dQ by dt is equal to L into dm by dt. Or we can write it as this also, Q dot is equal to L into M dot. All are different variations now. So by this, this is written as P, L, and this is written as mu. This is given as mu kg per second, SI units. Yes. And from there, we want to find the latent heat. So it will be P by mu. It will be P by mu. So our answer is P. And this is how we do it. So you can see that in these five minutes only, I have tried to summarize all the complete topic of this, like the thermal properties of matter, or this is also known as um, uh, calorimetry. Yes, calorimetry. Okay, so my dear students, uh, this is Professor Varun, and please subscribe to the YouTube channel. Also, share the video with all of your friends. All the best. Bye.